Migration in the Eastern Hemisphere. More than 22,000 were forced to flee Burma after the worst sectarian violence in years. In 2012, according to the United Nations chief in Yangon, Ashok Nigam, the government estimated that 22,587 people had been displaced in an ethically charged bloodshed in the fall. Mostly Muslims were displaced. But since then, countries in the region have turned away migrants. In May 2015, migrants from Burma finally reached Indonesia after floating at sea for four months. Up to 100 people died in a struggle for dwindling nourishment. Wars in Syria and Iraq, unrest in the African continent, and chaos in Libya have spurred an exodus of refugees. As Angelina Jolie said, there is a direct link between the conflicts in Syria and elsewhere and the rise in deaths at sea in the Mediterranean. We have to understand what drives people to take the fearful step of risking their children's lives on crowded, unsafe vessels. It is the overwhelming desire to find refuge. During the last 12 years, over 4,000 migrants have died crossing over the wall that separates the United States and Mexico. With new immigration policies implemented in 2001, the death toll has increased dramatically. In 2005, 260 deaths occurred in Arizona's desert alone. However, with increased deaths along the border, humanitarian aid has not increased proportionately. Mexican authorities sometimes avoid identifying the nationalities of deceased migrants in order to avoid repatriation. Sometimes, the consulates of Honduras, El Salvador, and Guatemala do not have sufficient budget to repatriate the bodies, and therefore abandon them in Mexico. The consequences of civil wars that traumatized Central American countries up until the 1990s have not yet been resolved. The absence of a state under rule of law, the persistence of corruption, impunity, and the le illegal circulation of about 2 million light weapons encourage forms of criminal violence that incite parents to leave for their own safety and, the tr and their children's safety. The construction of walls and the surge in military-style surveillance across the border has forced migrants into less populated and dangerous regions of Mexico and the United States. U.S. border enforcement policymakers have deliberately increased the risks of crossing the border. In 2001, migrants paid smugglers between $7,000 and $16,000 per person to help them cross. The difficulty and heightened risks associated with smuggling people across the border has made it an increasingly profitable business. Mig migrants suffer amputations as a result of falling off cargo trains or being thrown off of them. However, only independent agencies have come to their rescue. On March 10, 2005, Maria Concepcion Moreno Artega, provider of free food and clothes to undocumented immigrants in Caratero State in Mexico, was arrested on false charges. She was accused of being associated with smugglers. Her defense team proved that these allegations were false and she was released. However, she stands as an example of how difficult it can be to provide relief for migrants. Crimes against women are often unreported. Rape can be perpetuated by anyone along the way, including guides, fellow migrants, bandits, or government officials, according to Fusion, a Hispanic television station. Sometimes sex is, a, is used as a form of payment when women and girls don't have money to pay bribes at detention centers. 79% of migrant deaths worldwide have occurred in the Mediterranean Sea in 2015. 785 children below the ages of 5 were apprehended by American Border Patrol agents between January and July of 2014. Between 60 and 90 percent of Central American women and girls are raped crossing into the United States. About 7 percent of K-12 students had at least one undocumented immigrant parent in 2012. 1,300 migrants died en route to Europe via the Mediterranean Sea in April of 2015. By the summer of 2014, 46,932 children below the ages of 12 tried to cross the American-Mexican border alone, marking a 117% increase from the previous year. More than 57,000 unaccompanied children attempted to cross into the United States. We created six pillars modeled after the wall in the Mexican-U.S. border. The first pillar is leaning over the next to symbolize the domino effects of bad foreign policy. Immigration itself is an example of its rippling consequences. The colors beneath the pillars represent migrants' motives for fleeing their native countries. Red symbolizes the need to escape social violence. Green symbolizes economic incentive. Yellow represents the change in family dynamics. And blue was designated to represent crimes against women. We hope for our monument to be in Washington, D.C. across the Pentagon. It will be open to all, but preferably to grab the attention of politicians who determine foreign policy.